hey everybody it's Jade so today I'm gonna to be talking about art school versus university some of you might not know this but I actually out of high school I went straight into art school I've always been creative I've always been an artist um, into fashion painting graphic design all that so I thought you know why not go to art school that's the only place I really want to be. Um, so ever since middle school, I looked up this school called SCAD. Um, it's the Savannah College of Art and Design. And um, I was sold off the website. Um, I looked up all the classes and they had so many different programs and I thought it was just perfect. So I applied to that school. I think I only applied to three schools and I got into SCAD. And I was so happy. I was the happiest person in the world. So I'm making this video just to talk about um, people who are creative, who are in high school, or who are in, um, who are already, who might already be in art school, or who might be in a university, and just tell you about my experience going from um, art school to university. I transferred. I'm a sophomore now. Um, so I did my first year at, at SCAD. So I'm just going to talk, talk to you a little bit about <laughs> the differences. So now I attend Howard University. Um, so there's a big difference between SCAD and Howard University. A huge difference. So number one for art school, um, whew, the money is what I'm going to talk about first. Um, luckily I did get partial scholarship to go, so I could aff afford it for the first year. Um, and on top of that, you have to pay for your kits, your supplies, um, fabric, uh, whatever, you know, you need for your major. Number two, everybody who goes to SCAD, or most art schools, no matter what your major is, you have to, um, basically do the basic classes first. So these are your design classes, your drawing classes, your... Um, basic English, math, whatever. You kind of, you have to take those classes before you can get into your major classes. So you have to buy your supplies. So there's this thing called a freshman kit that um, you're required to buy. So for instance, you're gonna have in your kit, you're gonna have things like, I don't know, like this cool art hand that you can draw from and you can move it in different positions and, you know, draw from it. And you're also going to need a ruler and cool art stuff that you're going to need. Paint brushes, paint. So since SCAD is a private school, you are going to pay some money. Do what you got to do. So let's talk about the classes in general at art school. So at SCAD, each, cl each, cl each class is about, how long is it? Two hours and 30 minutes? Yeah. So you're going to be painting and, you know, drawing, sewing, sketching for two hours and 30 minutes. You're going to get a break for about 15 minutes. Um, and then that's it. So, but the, the good thing about that is you only have one to two classes a day. And at SCAD, you don't have classes on Friday. So, and, and another thing is that you only have, um, three classes you have to worry about per quarter. So it's not on a, a semester system, it's more, it's, it's on a quarter system. You have a lot of free time. You have um, a lot of time to work on your, your homework. <laughs> so you, there are, of course there are gonna be people who party in art school and stuff, but I don't know how they did it. I really don't know how they did it. Some days you're not gonna get sleep at all, actually. And this little thing here, this is going to be your best friend. Coffee, caffeine, monster drinks. I don't mess with those though. Um, yeah. You're going to walk into class and you're going to be like... <sighs> there were days where I walked into class with, with no sleep. Well, for me, I don't, I don't like to pull all nighters, but I would literally get two hours of sleep and have to come to class. Another thing is, you are not going to be worrying about being cute in art school because number one, you don't have time. There, no. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. You're going to be going to class in sweatpants, dude. I don't care. Like, you're so focused on your project that you don't have time to worry about how your hair looks, how your makeup looks. You're getting to class when that final project is due. You're, you're in class and you're, you know, you're sitting there zoned out. You're like, uh, 
you're not there. You spend all your beautiful time doing this beautiful patterned canvas you know it's beautiful it's beautiful but you know all this is ain't gonna be beautiful after you do this girl I'm sorry it's not gonna happen speaking of girls speaking of boys and girls okay ratio hmm a lot of girls mostly girls and some boys there you go let's talk about friends okay so friends um, I know I noticed that um, I, I think I'm, I'm somewhat of an outgoing person so when I got to SCAD I didn't really realize that a lot of the students who were introverted introverts um, to themselves very focused very you know this is my goal I'm not worrying about anything that's you know gonna distract me so um, yeah they're very focused and social life is very different as opposed to regular university so the reason why i transferred from my dream school scad to howard university is because finances um our school gets really expensive uh to the point where you're like contemplating your whole life like <laughs> uh, but luckily my mother works for Howard University and so tuition isn't that expensive for me so it's a blessing it was a blessing for me so but I but I will say that um, usually university public university or even private universities are gonna be cheaper than art schools so classes at classes at regular universities or just universities um, your classes are gonna be about 50 minutes to or like 50 minutes to an hour and a half maybe that's the longest would be maybe two hours but everything is kind of different it just depends on which program you're in if you're in like the school of business or in the school of communications fine arts science medicine there's just yeah there's so much stuff so i can't speak upon you know other majors other programs it also depends on what how many credits you or how many hours you want to take you can take between like i don't know 13 credits to 21 oh, i don't know if people do it but people do do it let's talk about social life h you you know okay you're gonna have fun you're gonna have fun yes you're gonna have fun there's always gonna be a party going on you have Greek life at art school at least at SCAD yeah no no Greek life is allowed it's not it's literally not allowed it's not allowed so you have Greek life you have the parties you have the sports you have boys yes. mm -mm, girl focus so now I know what I like now I know that I would I, I like the environment of going to university as far as campus goes at least at SCAD, SCAD, the SCAD that I went to was in Savannah, not Atlanta. So, Savannah, Georgia, okay. The thing about Savannah is, it's a beautiful city, it's a historic city, but the thing is, it's not the safest city. It's, you know, right next to, ne right next to some of the housing um, buildings, there are the projects, there, um, so when it comes to to traveling, when it comes to trying to get to classes, you have to be very careful. If you don't have a car um, or have anybody to you know give you a ride to class, you have to take the bus. And SCAD buses. If you go to SCAD, <laughs> you know what I'm about to say. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You have to rely on the bus. Uh, system so if you're two minutes late and that bus uh, is rolling off and you <sighs> wait wait for me it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen you you this is so funny workload homegirl art school it's a lot of work it's a it's a lot of work girl um, 
Yeah, your teacher is basically gonna be like, all right, class. Next Tuesday, I want to see 700 sketches of this coffee mug, and I want it from uh, 700 different perspectives. And you're just like, 